As a psychology student or practitioner, you'll most likely need to find information about psychological tests and measures at some point in your career. In particular, you may have a specific population or topic that you're researching, and you'll need to identify an appropriate research instrument to use. Or, you may have a particular psychological test or measure in mind, and you want to see how it has been used by other researchers. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Test and Measures field in APA PsycInfo to accomplish both goals. While I'll use PsycInfo through the EBSCOhost platform, the strategies introduced are applicable for any version of PsycInfo. Let's explore using the Test and Measures field with a sample research scenario. Let's say that you're interested in researching more about the strategies for helping those with brain injuries develop self-advocacy skills. With your topic in hand, you need help identifying an appropriate test or measure to use for your study. In PsycInfo, use the Advanced Search page to develop your search. I'll type brain, I-N-J-U-R, with an asterisk in the first search box, and self-advocacy in the second. Notice that I'm putting the asterisk at the end of the R in injury to find results that use injury or injuries. I'm also using quotes around self-advocacy so that PsycInfo searches this concept as a phrase. As you scroll through the results, you can click on a title to see which tests and measures the study used. For example, I'm going to click on the second result called Improving Personal Self-Advocacy Skills for Individuals with Brain Injury. Scroll down to the Test and Measure section, and you'll see a list of the research instruments that were used. When there is a DOI link next to an individual test, clicking on it will send you directly to the detailed summary page in Psych Tests. Even if you don't have access to Psych Tests, you'll be able to view the information on this page. Now let's shift gears just a bit and use the Test and Measures field one more time to meet a different information need. What if you're at a point where you've already identified the psychological tests and measures, like the self-advocacy scale, and you want to see how others have used it in their research? In this instance, I'll clear out my search boxes and type the full name of the scale in the first search box. Now, I'll click on the arrow next to any field and select Test and Measures. The results page will show citations to journal articles, books, and other research documents in PsycInfo where authors have mentioned the self-advocacy scale. Let's click on the title of the fifth result to see the detailed information page of this article. Scrolling down to the Test and Measures section, I can confirm that this questionnaire appears in the article. Again, if I wanted to switch to psych tests at this point, I can do so by clicking on the DOI link. Occasionally, you may see the word appended in the test and measures field. This word lets you know that the article that you're looking at includes the test in its entirety, usually in an appendix at the end of the article. If you're able to open the full text of the article, Check the Tables, Figures, Appendices, and the Methodology section for the full list of test questions. When possible, these appended tests also appear in the Psych Test database. If you only want to find articles with full tests, you can search for Appended in the Test and Measures field in PsycInfo. So if I typed in a search on brain injury, I could include the word appended in the second box and select the test and measures field. The results of this search will show studies where the tests and measures that were used are published with the studies. In summary, PsycInfo's test and measures field allows you to find articles where authors mention using a test or measure. This can be a powerful technique for identifying tests or measures or seeing how tests or measures are used in research. Thank you for watching. For more tips and strategies, please see our YouTube channel or visit the APA website.